a gift from the snake to bit him. A lot of people will be familiar with the original one, which was uh, quite a bit smaller than the expanded one. My idea was that I had done quite a bit with herpetology since uh, the first book was published, so I decided to bring out an expanded version, which really shocked me because I had no idea it was going to be twice the size. So it's gone from 253 odd pages to over 500, and there's another 100 photographs. Um, I might like to, to mention too that it's not a one-man job. If it wasn't for my editor, um, John McGrath, who did a great job, and also Rachel Hammond, the artist that did the artwork for the cover, it just wouldn't be the uh, successful book it is. As it is, I think it's pretty interesting. I've done quite a bit since the other book came out. And, um, you know, tra training the Aboriginal rangers up north, the Indigenous people, uh, doing surveys in the Northern Territory, travelling overseas to Canada, uh, Germany and America. It's all in there and it added quite a bit to it. As I say, there's over another 100 photos. I'd just like to say a special thank you to Sue Kennedy too, who's been with me with so many corrections with the book, with uh, you know names for, and for titles for photos. She's been really great, very patient, and it's come up as a fine result. I'm very happy with it. And uh, I'd like to thank the book printing company for all the work they put into it. I'd also like to thank my mate Troy Hobbenden, and it's actually mentioned in here that the photo cover um, photo is by him. He came to one of my shows, just happened to get a great shot of a brown snake trying to bite me, and uh, we used that. Also on the back, you'll notice me with a fairly large snake, 90 kilo Burmese python, which I had raised uh, from a baby, and that was on a legal license at the time. So I think. For those who uh, have followed my career, this is the most up-to-date and complete record I've had. And, um, you know, it takes it right up to the time that I virtually retired. Although I'm still involved with HERP, I'm not doing all the things I used to. Not going to be a cheap book. By the time postage for domestic uh, buyers, I would look at, say, $70. So it will be $50 for the book plus up to $20 for postage, depending on where it's going. For anybody overseas that really wants it, they've got to realise it's going to cost more. And that's going to be uh, at their cost. I would have to find out a price for that. I have no idea what it would be overseas. But it's a fairly heavy book. And uh, I think for the domestic market, $70 including postage. If people buy them from me at an expo or somewhere where I am, that's fine, it's just $50. For those who might be able to attend the Reptile Expo that's on the 26th of March, Cambridge Park, from nine in the morning till four in the afternoon, I will be attending that and I will have books with me so that you can save the cost of sending them out and I can sign them at the time. So it's the Reptile Expo on the 26th of next month at Cambridge Park, Herbert Street.